Hey there. Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Mekyanata, aka the resistor of bad and love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, this is part 4 of the topic of crafts. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the objectives. For this particular video, we are going to be looking at how to find or determine the equation of a given straight line. Okay? Now that we are done with the objectives, let's take a look at the lesson. So get your pens and your notebooks ready. Okay. So, how do we find the equation of line AB? Now, this example is the same example we used in the previous video, which was on how to find the gradient, okay? So, we're just going to use that same example to find the equation. And for you to be able to find the equation, you need to know how to find the gradient. So, I recommend you watch the previous video if you don't know already how to find the gradient of a line, okay? So, for example, the line AB here. If you don't know how to find this blue line, AB, if you don't know how to find the gradient of that line, I'll leave a link down below in the description, which is to part 3 of graphs, which has to do with um, how to find the gradient. Okay. Now, how do we find the equation? Now, when we talk about the equation, I want you to look at this uh, equation, which is y equals to mx plus c. Because the line AB is a straight line, we focus on this equation. Now, I want you to focus on two letters, which is the m and the c. Okay? Now, you need to know that the m is the gradient, and then the C is what? Is the y-intercept. So for you to find the equation of line AB, what you do is you replace M with the gradient of that line. So for example here, I already found the gradient of line AB. So I'm not going to redo that. If you want to redo that, you need to watch the previous video, which will be down below in the description. So I replace M with the gradient of the line. Then I put the X. And then plus, now C, what is C? C is our y-intercept. Now, what does y-intercept mean? When you look at your line, which is this blue line AB, where does that line cross the y-axis? Now, the y-axis is this one. So, it crosses that y-axis here, which means positive 1. So, you add a positive 1 there. And that's basically your final answer. So the equation of line AB is y equals to half x plus 1. That was easy, isn't it? Let's take a look at another example. Now if you take a look at this example, we're going to use uh, the same example from the previous video as well. But it's just that now we're going to look for the equation. In the previous video, we were looking for the gradient. So if I ask, what is the equation of the line on the grid? So this blue line, what is that equation? Again, bring out your y equals to mx plus c, and then focus on m and c. So what is your m? Your m is your gradient, so it will be negative 2. Then you put your x plus C. Now, what is C? C is your y-intercept, meaning where does that particular line cross the y-axis? So, now we check. This line crosses the y-axis here, which is negative 2. So, now because it's negative 2, I'll put it into brackets. And then now, you know that it's like there's an invisible one over here. So, if you multiply out that one, like if you multiply out the bracket, 1 times negative 2 will just be negative 2. So you can take away this positive sign. Then you just have y equals to negative 2x minus 2. And that's basically your final answer. So this is the equation 
of the line on the grid. Okay? Easy, isn't it? So for you to be able to find the equation, rule number one, just know how to find the gradient. And then the next thing is, spot where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay? Because now in the exam, you might not get this gradient given already. You might just get a line. And then they will ask you to find the equation. So in your mind, you should already know that, number one, I need to find the gradient. Then once I have found the gradient, and then I'll have to check where is my y-intercept. Then you incorporate it into your y equals to mx plus c equation. Then you get your equation. Okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family, and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights. Apart, we all stay behind. Cheers.